So we are on our way to a park. Um, it's still really hot out, but it's only supposed to be up to 84 today, so it should be better. It's still pretty early in the morning. And also, we're gonna go to the grocery store and get stuff to cook for Farabee today, which I, this is honestly the main reason we're going out, is because Farabee needs some stuff, to, uh, most of for her to cook. I need to find some stuff to cook for Farabee, so that is really our main point of going out. Plan is, park grocery store come home show you guys what i got to cook for Verbi, and then of course i'll show you what i make for her so come with us whoa <laughs> i saw that <laughs> all right well <laughs> glad you didn't get hurt It is so hot that it's offensive. I'm not even playing. <laughs> I have my hat, my hair pulled up and tucked into my hat. So it's cooler than it was, right? It's um, it's only supposed to get in the low 80s, but we have 80 something percent humidity. So I don't know. I was just happy because it's cloudy and I'm like, okay, it'll be fine. We can go. This was a mistake. I mean, we have been here maybe 10 minutes. I thank god this shirt is so oversized that it's not touching me but like my bra is completely soaked so i'm trying to <laughs> i don't want to go back home because that's way not in the right direction before we go to the store the store is right here so i'm like do i just go to the store sweaty because this is i don't know i have weird feelings about that i feel like it's offensive but i guess i'm just gonna i guess we're gonna be little dirty girls and just go fair be filling a freaking hole which i think i caught it it was, <laughs> I hope I caught it okay I hope I caught it on the thing it was really sad but it was also like so unexpected and out of the blue that it was hilarious I mean she was just walking and all of a sudden there's a pile of leaves and she was like Voom. so she's fine I mean if she didn't act like anything happened she wasn't clingy or anything so I think it's fine oh, well, what's this finally stepping up? oh yeah it's right in front of the store too awesome thank you you're the best huh you are the best. Your vest is so crooked right now.
Hey guys, we wanna pop in really quick and let you know about our service dog training blog slash journals that we make. There's a public access study guide, over a hundred task ideas, over 145 socialization ideas and a checklist, more than 80 tricks. There's even an idea sheet for places that you can train your dog if your dog is not ready for public access yet. You can log your daily training plans, weekly training plans, monthly training plans. There's also a grooming routine tracker slash planner as well as a medication tracker. There's stuff for us humans too like self-care planning, tracking, goal tracking, project planning, and financial planning. So I'll link them above for you guys and I'll link them below as well. And now back to the show. Grocery store is done. So I ended up, I'm gonna have to do a grocery haul whenever we get home because I did not at all show you anything that we got. So everything went good as far as service dog portions go. Y'all, I am so excited. So um, I've noticed on some of the service dog Facebook groups that a lot of the publics are starting to have signage about service dogs and like explain the differences and stuff. And ours has it too. Publix is the one place that I have had ask me about her every time she's been unvested. And I understand that that's not, I understand we don't have to have vest, but it's just the point that anytime we come in there looking like sketch at all, there is a Publix person who will stop and ask you the two questions and this is before they even had the signs. So since they have the signs, I'm like, okay, obviously they must have somebody. I feel like they must have somebody in corporate who like actually gives a crap about this kind of stuff, honestly, because it just seems like they must the way that they're, you know, like really making a big deal about it. So very cool, very, very cool. I'm excited about it. I got a lot of goodies to cook for Faraby. I ended up getting a lot of fresh stuff because this is the thing too like my mind kind of went blank whenever i was in the grocery store and i'm like what what goes with stuff so i ended up getting fresh stuff and stuff for me and then i ended up getting a couple different kinds of meat for Faraby and like i don't even know what i was supposed to get honestly so we'll see i'll show you what i got or what we got whenever we get home so i got this it's one and a half pounds of boneless skinless chicken breast is what this is so i got that ground turkey breast and so it is, or I'm sorry, it's ground turkey. It's not breast, it's just ground turkey. I don't know, but yeah, so I got those. I'm holding it weird because it's wet and I think it's from sweat from the packaging, but I don't know. So well, she is so excited. She's like about it. All right, and this is the part I said y'all gonna laugh at. I got, <laughs> I got turkey hot dogs. It says they're uncured turkey franks and it said there's no added nitrates or nitrites in it. I give therapy raw freeze-dried raw food as a treat a lot of times, but the raw stuff, like every time I touch it, I have to wash my hands and I have to run around like this anyway. And it's kind of hard to remember because it's dry. And so what my thought was, she's never had this. Can y'all see? She's, come on. she's never had a hot dog before. But what I thought is maybe I could give her like one, if, if, as long as I can freeze them. I'm sure you can freeze them. Oh, it says keep refrigerated or below 40 at, a, at all times. So it's for sure okay to freeze them. So my thought is, is that maybe I could cut one of these up like a week, you know what I mean? And just have like a special mixed in. So I don't know, we'll see. All right, fresh stuff. All right, <laughs> so I got a big bag of asparagus for me, carrots for Faraby and I together. I got cilantro again, broccoli, two yellow squash, we got blueberries, strawberries, chopped frozen spinach. I got two potatoes for me. These are not for therapy. These are for me. Guac for me. They had bird's eye stuff, buy one, get one free. So I got pepper and onion mix. I think I got two of this. 
yeah. Okay, so I got two of this. I really like this a lot, lot, lot. I got corn. This is for me, by the way, not therapy. I got broccoli stir fry. This is also for me. Broccoli, me and Fairby can both share this, but I don't know. Um, this is just kind of backup because I've got fresh broccoli, but since it was a good deal, I just went ahead and got that. And then they had these alpha nuggets on clearance for like $3 or $3.14, I think is what it was. So I got two bags of those just because they were on clearance. They had a ragu pasta sauce on buy one, get one free as well. So I got two of those. I just got the roasted garlic one which I didn't really read and make sure it was vegan because it was a woman standing there who was also doing the same as me and like she actually got like a whole, like I bet you she got like 15 or 16 of these things, but she had, she was standing there getting them and I was kind of like, you know how you like wait back because you're like, I kind of want that too. I had no idea she was going to get that many and then I guess she felt like somebody was waiting, so she moved, and then I went over and I was looking, but she circled back and got behind me, so then I felt like I just kinda need to hurry, because like it was very clear that she was wanting back over there. So anyway, so I didn't read this, but it is vegan, I just checked. <laughs> but um, honestly, if I had been standing there with like not feeling like I was being rushed a little bit, in no shade to her. I mean, this is a really good deal, and like it's hard as fuck out there with the money right now, so whatever, anyway. Um, but if somebody hadn't have been standing there behind me, I probably would have got two of this kind because it has less ingredients. So anyways, but they're both vegan. I got salsa and I got olives. I got a lemon and a lime, these things, because I like them and I didn't know mine was expired in freaking July, or no, I'm sorry, June. And I was over here just squeezing it like a crazy woman all over my couscous. And I happened to notice that expiration date, so <laughs> got that. Um, I'm trying these. They are vegan white chocolate chips. To be honest, they were an outrageous price. And the only reason that I got them is because of they did not have any other non-dairy chips that were a reasonable price. And these ended up being like, I think 30 cents more or something. And so I just figured I'd try them because white chocolate's rare for vegans. So I thought I would give it a try. But yeah, it the price of like chocolate chips and stuff at Publix is astronomical. So I feel like Walmart has a better deal on that and Kroger have like the better deals on those two things or on, not on those two things, on those things. So that, it's not that bad. It was 7.31, so it's just now like the 28th of August. So not not like kill you bad, but still, you know, I don't I don't wanna have expired stuff. Tomatoes, I totally forgot I bought because they were in the bottom of the bag. <laughs> Bread. So they had their um, juices, like their Simply Juices. They had them buy two, get one free. So I bought three, which Publix does give you the deal no matter what, so you don't have to buy the full amount, but I did because I decided to do this instead of kombucha since it was gonna be a more expensive week since I bought several things of meat for therapy. So I got watermelon juice, limeade, and peach juice. So I've had all these before and I like them. The only thing I don't really like about these is that they're not organic and like you're basically just drinking a sugar slushy basically. So if you're wondering, the total for that was $106.53 and I did not have any coupons, but like I said, the store had some deals going on so it ended up being you know, a little bit better for us. It says that our specialty price savings was $30.59, so who knows? But I feel like we got a pretty decent amount of stuff, honestly, for that much. That feels like a lot of groceries. What I will say is, my goodness gracious, hot dogs are expensive. I don't eat meat and I haven't in a while, so I didn't know. Those all turkey hot dogs were $7.09, but I got $3.55 off, which is why I did it. But my goodness, that's a lot of money for hot dogs. Hot dogs. I thought hot dogs were supposed to be like a cheap way to eat. The chicken breast, I think I already told you, it was $8.75, and then the ground turkey that I got was $5.59. I don't know necessarily how I feel about giving her ground meat as like a, a whole. I still think no matter what is better than anything they're gonna put in dog food. You know what I mean? Because obviously this is meant for people. So I feel like no matter what is still a win. I felt like whenever we were using prepackaged frozen dog food that it was very convenient. I just had to remember to put it out of the freezer the night before and that was it. So I'm kind of trying to accomplish that again in just me actually make the food, but then pre-portion it out and freeze it. And then that way I don't have to, you know, whatever. It's just frozen and I can get it out whenever we need it. And I don't have to like actually cook. 
So I'm gonna link the cooking for dogs videos for you right here. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. I hope you enjoyed seeing what we got at the grocery store. We'll see you next week. Bye guys. Thank you.